Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Israel for law set for international rugby union return with Tonga, three years after being sacked by Wallabies former Wallaby Israel for law is set to return to international rugby union for the first time since 2018, after being named in Tonga's squad for July's Pacific Nations Cup and World Cup qualifying. He is going to bring a lot of experience to the table, Tonga coach Tout Ikefu told ABC Radio Australia. His presence is going to be one of the most exciting factors we're re looking forward to. Fuller played 73 tests for the Wallabies before Rugby Australia terminated his contract in May 2019 for breaching its code of conduct. Fuller later took Rugby Australia to court for unfair dismissal, resulting in a multi million dollar settlement. However, he is now able to represent his parents' homeland, Tonga, due to changes to World Rugby's eligibility laws. It would have been at least a couple of years ago that we started having conversations about him possibly representing Ikael Tehi, said Kfu. It was quite informal back then, it was just an informal chat, and then, as his three-year stand-down approached, when that was going to finish there was a possibility of him playing sevens to qualify for us and he was open to that. But then, fortunately, they changed that rule in November and he didn't he need to go through that route anymore. All he had to do was stand those three years down and he would qualify straight away. Fulor is currently playing club rugby for the Shining Arcs in Japan under former Arata's coach Rob Penny. Tonga has also named former All Blacks back Charles Puto in its squad under the changed eligibility rules. Things seem to be coming together at the right time, Kfu said. We may still go some more individuals to come into the squad, so it is only going to get better.